Which is the best game engine? You often ask us this question. It's an easy one to answer. There's none. A better question would be, which is the best engine for me? Because that's what matters, that you have an engine that fits your needs the closest. In this video, you will learn the pros and cons of the Godot game engine compared to Game Maker. As I don't have much experience with Game Maker, I asked Hardbeast and Emilio for insights. They're experienced developers who worked with both programs for a long time, including on commercial games. Hardbeast also taught both engines professionally. Hi, my name is Ben. I make tutorial videos and devlogs for game dev on my YouTube channel, Heartbeast. Hello, I'm Emilio. I'm a web developer by day and a game developer by night. Lately, I've been doing some YouTube videos. The thing I like most about GameMaker is how quickly you can get a project up and running and testing certain mechanics and ideas that you have. And it's very quick for prototyping and that makes it really useful. What I like the most about GameMaker is the fact that anyone can make a game even if you don't know programming because of the drag and drop system. I feel like the drag and drop system is one of the best features that GameMaker has and it's a very good introduction to the main concepts that you need to know and it was at least my uh, introduction to programming as well. So I started doing drag and drop games and then I moved to code. I feel like that's the best feature. My favorite thing about Godot is probably the node and scene system. It's a little bit tricky for beginners when they first start learning it, but it's been super helpful to me as my projects have increased in size and complexity. It helps me to keep my coupling low and continue to work on the project without running into tons and tons of bugs every time I need to add a new feature. The thing I like the most about Godot is the license and the scenes. The license is the freedom that you have from having all the code to your disposal. So if you have any issues with Godot itself, you can go to the source code and modify it. And the scenes, I feel it's a very clever way of organizing your games and to make reusable systems. So I really like those two things. I feel like those are the strongest things for Godot right now. Comparing GDScript and GML, uh, GDScript coming from Godot and GML coming from GameMaker, is actually pretty interesting. In a lot of ways, they feel similar to me. The syntax is the one biggest difference I feel between the two, where GDScript follows a Python-like syntax and GML follows a more traditional syntax with curly brackets. There's obviously a lot of little differences in, in the functions that you use and stuff like that. But between the two, they were both fairly easy to pick up and learn. I think I do like the syntax in Godot a little bit more. I prefer that simple Python-like syntax. These two are easy to pick up and learn, and that's what I like about them. So I feel like GDScript is a more complete language. In GML, I remember working with a lot of stuff and having a lot of limitations, especially with arrays, dictionaries. There were no functions. I believe they added those recently. So yeah, definitely GDScript feels more like a scripting language and GML feels more like a tool that you can use maybe just a little bit to add some functionality. And if you're doing some real work in Game Maker, you need an extra tool to make GML better. The number one feature that I miss the most from Game Maker is definitely surfaces. They're a very powerful tool in Game Maker. And the closest thing I can find in Godot is viewports, but viewports are still a little bit finicky in Godot and still need some work, I think, before they can be quite as useful as I found surfaces to be in GameMaker. So that's definitely a feature that I miss while I'm using Godot. And I look forward to when viewports get a little bit more polish and can help replace the feature there for me a little bit. I really miss the sprite editor. I feel like the sprite editor is a great thing to have. And when you're doing some prototypes, you can jump in, make a doodle and have that into your game. And in Godot, it's, you know, you start using the icon.png, which is a meme now. But yeah, I feel like we need more tools to create or edit sprites from within the editor. That would be great. And that's something I miss. Listing Godot's advantages over GameMaker is a pretty tricky thing to do because it really depends on what you need from an engine and what features you're looking for. A lot of people would say Godot being open source is an advantage or their licensing structure is an advantage. 
that those kinds of things are important to some people and not important to other people. One of the biggest advantages that I've noticed for me personally is the amount of UI related nodes that Godot has. And I can quickly build a UI and see it in the editor there. It's kind of a what you see is what you get system for doing UI. While in GameMaker, you have to write your own UI systems. A lot of the time they're being drawn directly to the screen so you can't see them in the editor in a lot of the ways people do UI. You can find ways to show them in the editor, but I found UI to be more difficult inside of GameMaker. I also feel like the scene structure with the node structure is an advantage that Godot has over GameMaker. It has quick compile times. When I'm running my projects in Godot, they tend to compile much more quickly than they do in GameMaker. I like how lightweight Godot is. But like I said, there's a lot of things that I see as an advantage that other people might not care as much about. And so it's a hard thing to list, but I think that those would be kind of the big ones for me that have been important to me personally. The advantages of Godot over GameMaker, I feel, other than the price, which is free, you cannot bid free, is the fact that once you master 2D, you can transition to 3D really seamless. And in Game Maker, you're always going to be limited to that. There are some exceptions. There are people who made 3D games in Game Maker, but it's super hard and the engine is not really prepared for that. So I would say that that's the biggest advantage. Now we get into disadvantages of Godot over Game Maker. And once again, this is similar. It really depends on what's important to you. However, I do think GameMaker is going to have better support for consoles if you're trying to port yourself. So you can port to consoles on Godot, but it's going to be a lot more difficult and it might be easier just to go through a publisher if you're going to try and get on consoles with Godot. While GameMaker has better support there because of the support that YoYo Games has built, the process is still going to be difficult. It's not going to be easy to get a GameMaker game on the Switch, but it might be easier for a single person to do that. And I think that would be one of the biggest things to consider when you're trying to decide between GameMaker and Godot. There's also something to consider, which is if you already understand one engine, it's going to take a lot of time to learn the other one. And so if you're already comfortable with GameMaker, there is a cost to learning Godot and I went through that when I switched over from GameMaker to, to Godot. I'm lucky enough that I'm in a position where I have the time that I can dedicate to learning in a, com a completely new engine, but not everyone has that kind of time. And so if you're already using GameMaker, you should definitely consider that cost of learning a new engine because GameMaker can do everything that Godot can essentially in, in regards to 2D and such. In Game Maker, the features that there are implemented there, I feel like they are more polished. And in Godot, they they are always a bit incomplete, or the user experience is a bit weird. For instance, you know, like tile sets, the visual scripting, like the tools are there, but they are not exactly user friendly. And another thing would be exporting to consoles, which I know it's a licensed stuff. It's not exactly Godot's fault, but a lot of people want to export to their favorite consoles and in Game Maker it's relatively easy. And in Godot, you need to involve a third party and that can be a little bit scary for a lot of people. So yeah, those are the disadvantages of using Godot. In the end, comparing the two, I decided that Godot fit my needs better. And so I'm going to continue using Godot. That doesn't mean I'm dropping GameMaker completely. I might use it for prototyping. I do feel like it's a very powerful tool for prototyping, getting something working quickly. But I decided to go with Godot for my future projects and games. I've had a lot of fun doing that, and I really enjoy Godot. Hopefully this information has been helpful to you as you've considered Godot as a game engine. Thank you very much for inviting me, and I hope you have a good time editing this. <laughs> Bye. I hope that you could see that both tools have their pros and cons. I was quite impressed by the drag and drop interface of Game Maker Studio 2, and I still love Godot for the breadth of features it offers, but also because it's free and open source software. If you would like to learn more about Godot, check out our video, Godot Explained in 5 minutes. We also teach it on the channel and we have lots of tutorials for free. We are also live on Kickstarter at the moment to create a great new 2D game creation course. Check it out and consider backing us there. I want to thank Emilio and Ben for their help with this video. And with that, I want to thank you for watching. Be creative, have fun. Let's see one another in the next one really soon. Bye-bye.